Hi, I am Amit Lunkar. In this video, we discuss about the chemistry of cardiac glycosides. Cardiac glycosides which are used in congestive heart failure and cardiac arrhythmias. These cardiac glycosides which increase the force of contraction and it acts as a cardiotonic. Let's begin with the introductory part of these cardiac glycosides. The cardiac glycosides are an important class of naturally occurring drugs whose actions include both intense cardiotonic and toxic effects. Cardiotonic action is beneficial in the treatment of congestive heart failure and edema. The cardiac glycosides can be obtained from both plant and certain animals. Example of plant like digitalis and stropanthus and example of animals like poisonous toad. The most common source of cardiac glycosides are Digitalis purpurea which is also known as fox glow and Digitalis lanata. Now about the chemistry of cardiac glycosides. Here is the structure of lanatocyte C which is a good example of a cardiac glycosides which are having four sugar residues especially three digitoxos and one glucose. These cardiac glycosides having a two main components. One is a carbohydrates or sugar component and second one is a, a steroid component which is also called genin or a glycone. So combinedly this carbohydrate and steroid component are called cardiac glycosides. Now here we discuss the chemistry of this cardiac glycoside by considering this genin or a glycone component and carbohydrate or sugar component simultaneously. Now this cardiac glycoside or this example of lantoside which are having here four sugar moieties. Now let's begin with the first component which is a, a glycone or genin. Here is this steroidal ring which is called a, a glycone. Remember that the a glycone component and sugar component which are joined to each other with this hydroxyl group which is to the third position. So the numbering of this a glycone moiety And to this 17th position, there are the lactone ring is present and depending upon the nature of lactone ring, it have a different class. Suppose it having this 5-membered oxygen containing ring which is a alpha, beta, unsaturated 5-member lactone ring, then class of compound is cardinoloids whereas a six member ring oxygen containing six member ring or alpha pyron substituent are present then it is a bufedinolites now let's begin with the points regarding this a glycone moiety the steroidal portion of the cardiac glycosides characterized by unusual shape this u shape is imparted by the a b and C D which are cis to each other this A B and C D which are cis to each other and B C which are trans to each other and because of this it forms a U shape. This shows the unusual conformation effect on the orientation of the carbon 18 and carbon 19 angular methyl relative to the 14 hydroxyl and 5th hydrogen groups. Two major class of cardiac glycosides just now we have seen 
the cardino cardinolites and buffedinolites can be found in nature the cardinolites is important cardiac glycosides and are derived from digitalis purpurea or digitalis lanata source cardinolites exemplified by digoxin characteristically possess an alpha beta unsaturated five member lactone attached is a glycone the second cardiac glycoside class which is a buffedinolites which is not therapeutic importance and is distinguished by the presence of an alpha pyran substituent at this 17 beta position both cardinolites and buffedinolites contains 3 beta and 14 beta hydroxyls here this 3 beta and 14 beta hydroxyls the 3 beta hydroxyl here this 3 beta hydroxyl being the point of attachment for the sugar component in the cardinolites additional hydroxyl may be found at carbon 12 or to the carbon 16 whose presence or absence differentiate the important genes digoxogenin digoxygenin digitoxygenin and digitoxygenin so here is the structure of this digitoxygenin then digoxygenin and next one is the digitoxygenin so in digoxygenin it having a presence of hydroxyl group to the 12 carbon whereas in digitoxygenin it having a hydroxyl group to the 16 carbon now about the sugar component several different types of sugars have been found in the naturally occurring cardiac glycosides some of more common are beta d digitoxose beta d glucose beta l ramnose and beta d camarose here is the structure of all these representative sugars which are mostly present in cardiac glycosides the sugar residues are usually in the pyranose or six member ring form and the cardiac glycosides generally possess from 1 to 4 sugars attached to the 3 beta hydroxyl group we have seen in case of this lanatocyte c there are the presence of four sugar which are attached to the steroidal moiety to the third position the sugar residues are connected to one another via beta 14 linkages clinically important cardiac glycosides most frequently contains the monosaccharides digitoxose and glucose the presence of acetyl group on the axial 3 hydroxy of the third digitoxose residue when present this acetyl group contributes to an increase in cardiac glycoside lipophilicity the sugar portion plays a important role in protecting the genin from rapid metabolism at the 3 hydroxyl while 3 beta hydroxyl is not an absolute necessity for activity but when present it must be in the beta means having axial orientation and the 3 alpha that is equatorial isomer which shows a little or no activity so remember that the sugar component which are responsible mostly for the ADME means for absorption distribution metabolism and elimination whereas the genin or a glycone part which are responsible for showing the action showing the pharmacological action so hope all of you getting the chemistry of this cardiac glycoside thank you happy learning